Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com and I want to share with you what I think the number one portrait photography mistake is that you can make when you're out and about trying to do environmental portraits with someone you're trying to get pictures of and that is this. If you're in Paris at the Eiffel Tower and all you do is take a super tight headshot of the person that you're photographing and you can't tell that you're in Paris at the Eiffel Tower, then what was the point of being in Paris at the Eiffel Tower to take those pictures? You could have taken them in your basement. Now, I just got back from Paris, and this was the first time I could show you exactly what I meant. This is what I'm talking about. If you're in Paris at the Eiffel Tower, don't take a picture like this. And I mean environmental portraits. Portraits where there's something going on in the scene that would add to the image. Portraits in the studio is a whole different ballgame for just doing a tight headshot. That makes total sense. But when you're out and about in the world and there's some sort of monument there or something that could help tell the story, then try to make sure you incorporate it into your portraits. So this is the personification of that. We're in Paris, we're at the Eiffel Tower, I take a headshot, there's no way we would know that we were there. I could have taken this in Kensington in Philadelphia and it would have been fine. And it's not a great picture but it's just showing you what I'm talking about. Is the next one a great picture? Well, not exactly. This is still a snapshot and a sample image that I took to you know, paint the picture here. This is my buddy Troy, he's in front of the Eiffel Tower. It's boring, it's a snapshot. It's slightly better than just a tight headshot there, but let's go forward. We are on a side street. The Eiffel Tower's in a distance, and yes, I'm at F2, so it's kind of blowing out, but it's not fully gone that you don't know what it is. I like this angle. It's a pretty good one. I went even wider, put the camera down low to get the Eiffel Tower in the background to show. We've got Troy drinking coffee, and it's a portrait. It's an environmental portrait in the environment, and you could still tell that we're in Paris even here at F2. Now I'm not saying you shoot at F2 or 1-2 or all the way wide open because it's almost like we're totally getting rid of the Eiffel Tower in this case. And that's another tip right there. If you're in a certain area trying to get an environmental portrait, but you shoot it wide open at 1-2 or 1-4 or F2 and you still can't tell what the environment was, then what was the point of doing that? You want to tell the best story possible. I mean, we can see over here, we've got the French flag. We've got the Eiffel Tower in the background. I like the way that Troy looks. We're incorporating the tower, but it's not just blatantly right in your face. But how about this? We go to 5-6. So we've got the Eiffel Tower now is being seen more versus this. It's blown out. Boom, and when I say blown out, I mean like totally dissipating with the bokeh. And I couldn't tell you whether I like the color or black and white. I go back and forth here because I like the color of the flag there and I like his skin tone, but the black and white also looks good. But here's some other examples. Right near the base of the Eiffel Tower, I was like, Troy, stand right here. This looks fantastic. And that's why I had him here, got down on a low angle, have the Eiffel Tower in there. We're still at F2 and it looks Great. Now that's what I'm talking about. If you're in Paris at the Eiffel Tower and you can't tell that you're in Paris at the Eiffel Tower because you took a super tight headshot, it just doesn't make any sense. Now before I wrap up this video, I want to show you FroPak 3 in action using 14 of the presets from FroPak 3 on this image right here, starting with Zoolander, followed by Winnebago, Walter White, Prestige Worldwide, November Rain, Mount Airy, Mentos, MDMA, King Contrast, Eckert, Capone, Canadian Tuxedo, Almost Famous, Fifth Element, and my all-time favorite, which still works here, Skittles. So look, if you wanna speed up your raw workflow or give yourself a great starting point, we created 15 custom Lightroom presets that you can check out right now at fronosphoto.com slash fropack3. While you're over there, you can play with the sliders to see the befores and the afters. And if you decide to pick them up right now, they are currently on sale. Or if you wanna get the triple play bundle that includes Fropack 1, 2, and 3, which includes Skittles, you can save even more. One more thing I want to show you is this last picture. So happens to be one of my favorite photos from Paris. I love the way that this shot turned out. If you want to get a print of this, you can go to jaredpolen.com slash store. So that's it, guys. I hope this video helps you out to remind you that you should not just be taking super tight headshots on location, especially if the location looks as good as something like Paris. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Polen, Photo dot com. See ya.